Well, now I'll go down to this part of the neighborhood. So far, I guess I could say I'm having a good morning. Am I recording? Well, yes. Whoops. Yeah. Oh. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to turn around here. There's more in here than what I thought. Golly, Ned. Is that an ant crawling on me? Yeah, I'm going to have to stand up. I'm going to have to stand up. Oh, oh. like these bottle cans like that because they're actually a little bit heavier gauge uh, uh, aluminum than the soda cans, just the regular cans. You know what? This might be one of them mornings I'm going to run out of room. I have got to get me a bigger thing for the back of this. Now. Oh yeah, this thing's full of ants. This one's more. I ain't gonna... I don't feel like getting eat up. And that's what will happen if I don't watch it. Oh man. I'm gonna be itching all day now. Yep. I'm gonna have to get out and stomp cans. But, if I do, I will. Thank you, people. You know, I'm gonna have to stop giving him a car because I see them sitting out here drinking beer all the time. And maybe they'll start putting it in a bag for me. Yeah, I need to stop and talk and introduce myself. 
Yes, I do. Let me go over here. Look at this one right quick. No. Hmm. How you doing this morning? Is this your dog too? Yep. How many you got? Two. Two? Hey buddy. What's his name? Which one? Mitch. Who? Mitch. Mitch? Hey Mitch. Yeah, I see him around quite a bit. Yeah, he's a wanderer. Let me get your pen. Yeah. You doing all right? Oh, okay. I got some stuff at home. I'm going to give you, since you're having yard sales and I don't plan on it. There's another bag right there, I see. Yeah, I put that out here for you. Um, I'm going to run back home. Where you want these at? Uh, just set one right there and I'll set one right between my legs. I got some stuff I want to give you and you can... Let me grab the other one. You can uh, yard sell some of that stuff new too. Um, but it's stuff people strode out. Yeah. And um, I, uh, I've got no word. Of, well, I'm having to get rid of some stuff. Yeah. Let me run back to the house. Yeah, put it in there. Come back here. All right, let me run back to the house. I'm going to get that stuff and bring it to All you. All right, be Today's Friday, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, I'll be right back, dear. Put your trash out. Okay, I'll be right back. So I do have to go to the house. Ah, I swear. I'm a lucky fella. That damn dog almost looks like a coyote, but it's not. And we do have some coyotes running around out here. I wonder why all of a sudden them things used to be out west and then all of a sudden they started showing up further east, even down here in Florida now. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this lady some stuff. She, She's giving me cans. She gave me all that brass. Just a nice lady. And I understand from the neighbor. How you doing? Hey. 
No, them coyotes are around and they will kill your pets if they're small enough. And um, they'll kill and eat your dogs, and especially dogs like mine. Mine's like, well, it's a little bit bigger than a chihuahua. And my other one is a Maltese. So yeah, they'd make a meal out of them. Hey! Wait a minute. Oh, uh, is them jeans something that Jaden could wear? And do you think if I put a pet thing down that... This is girl's pants. Oh, it is? Well, shit. This is their girls. It's girl stuff? Yep. Well. All right. Did you get that roll of stuff there? Yeah. Uh, I'm fixing it. You don't think them pet things will work? Um, they would have worked if, if they if they they were familiar with them. They're they're old. Okay. They they. All right, I'm fixing to give this stuff to um lady down the street here. Um, first I'm gonna go empty my cans. I got some stuff inside I'm gonna give her too. I'm downsizing. Um and I seen something jarred my memory about a story I got to tell. <laughs> uh something stupid I did again a good while back. Uh, those of you that might not know, uh, John Travolta lives here in Ocala. He lives in a place called Gumbo Air. And it's, it's a community that has a, a mile long uh, runway. And as some of you may know, John Travolta has this huge uh, jet liner that's been converted and all that stuff, and he flies it, he's a pilot. And so he lives here local, and every once in a while somebody will run into him around here. <laughs> and I run into him one day. Actually, we didn't run into each other. We, he pulled up to a red light beside me and I seen it was him and <laughs> you know he he got started on a TV show called Welcome Back Carter and his name on that show was Vinny Barbarino and he was in a group of kids that was called Sweat Hogs. They were misfits students or something. I, you can pull a show up and look at it on YouTube. <laughs> but, you know, he's come a long way since that Welcome Back uh, Carter show. A long way. He's a superstar. He wasn't back then. He was also in Greece, I think it was, too. He was a good dancer and all that stuff. But when he pulled up beside me, I'm looking over at him, and I seen it was John Travolta. 
and I started waving and hollering. <laughs> and instead of saying, hey, John, <laughs> ignorant old man. Well, I wasn't too old back then. I was old, but not old as I am now. But I'm like, hey, Vinnie Barbarino. <laughs> He looked at me, and I could tell, I, I could tell he didn't like me calling him that. But he waved, he was nice. <laughs> Benny Barbarino, the sweat hog. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's as bad as that time I asked Elvis Presley if he remembered seeing me on the second row of a show that he did in Winston-Salem, North Carolina in 19... 56, I believe it was. <laughs> Benny Barbarino. <laughs> yeah, every once in a while we'll see his plane go over. It, it, the path that he comes in and takes off from, it goes right over our house. And you can hear it coming before you ever see it. But he ain't too far up, because he ain't just, he ain't been like, five miles from where I live now. Uh, but you see that plane coming and coming in to land and and you can hear it and you're not you you're not used to seeing a big jet like that flying and it's too big for the municipal airport here. We have an airport but his plane is too big for that. That's why he's living in this um uh community and this community was built by oh boy what was that man's name was it Nautilus Exercise Equipment seemed like his name was Jones but he built that community and he built that runway that runway was a mile long because he had a big plane coming in and out of there oh. but John Travolta lives there. Now, going down the highway right next to that, the entrance to that, you can see John Travolta's house. And you know it's his house because you can see that big tail sticking up on that airplane. It's parked right in, right at his front yard almost. And that's amazing that somebody have something like that sitting in the front yard. And if he wants to go to California, he can get in that thing and take off, go to California and be there shortly. He can go, he can go intercontinental, you know, he can go, I guess, about anywhere in the world as long as he had fuel. Can you imagine the gas bill on that sucker? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Uh, and anyway, I guess that's going to have to be my story for the day. Okay, I'm going to make shorter videos than 40, I'm going to try to stay around 20 minutes, maybe 25 at the most, but like I was out this morning and I burnt three and a half hours of footage. And I got some good stuff. But you can't put a three and a half hour video up there. Uh, that wouldn't be fair to my viewers. You don't expect them to sit there and watch three and a half hours. Uh, but so I'm in the process of busting that up into about four or maybe five pieces because there were several different things in there going on that yeah, it's, it's good footage. Anyway, I got to shut my mouth, and I got to think about, do I need to shave my head again, or do I need to start combing my hair? Do I need to start shaving again? Oh. Um, I love you guys, I really do. I, I am so 
I'm so tickled that people actually cares about what I say. I don't know why, but, but I'm just so so happy, so pleased with it, so thank you all so much. Bye-bye.